Topic 4 on our list is Agents and Environments. So let's see what are agents and environments. An AI system is composed of an agent and its environment. The agent act in the environment. The environment may contain other agents. An agent is anything that can perceive its environment through sensors and act upon that environment through effectors. The different kinds of agents are human agents. The agents which use the sensory perceptions like eyes, ear, nose, mouth and actions on humans are performed by effectors like hands, legs and robotic agents and software agents are the other kinds of examples of agents. So how an intelligent agent works? In an artificial intelligence an intelligent agent is autonomous entity which observes through sensors and acts upon an environment using actuators that is it is an agent and directs its activity towards achieving goals it is rational as design defined in economics so the agents are rational they are able to think rationally intelligence intelligent agents may also learn or use knowledge to achieve their goals they may be very simple or very complex or reflex machine such as thermostat is an intelligent agent so working of an agent with an environment so an agent uses sensors to precept the environment it uses effectors to produce actions based on what it has perceived from the environment simple reflex agents they choose actions only based on the current precept. Simple reflex agents act only on the basis of the current precept, ignoring the rest of the precept history. The agent function is based on condition action rule. If, the, if condition, then action. So they use the sensors and they see how the world is like now and what actions I need to do based on the situation the world is right now, on what they have perceived. And there is a set of rules which is known as condition rules which says if the situation is like this you need to perform this action and the action is performed by the effect effectors and the next is model based reflex agents this is adding one step further for simple reflex agents they use a model of the world to choose their actions they maintain an internal state knowledge about how things happen in the world so model based reflex agent can handle partially observable environments its current state is stored inside the agent maintaining some kind of structure which describes a part of the world which cannot be seen a model based reflex reflex agent should maintain some sort sort of internal model that depends on the precept history and thereby reflects at least some of the unobserved aspects of the current state some things which have not been observed in the current state but is a possible precept state it has been stored in the agent as part of history and it will use that history to come out at an outcome so that history or the past history or the states of the environment which has not been observed currently are also used to come at an outcome in the model based reflex agents and again they use a condition action based on the outcomes to come at a state which the effector will act out. Adding further to the model based is goal based agents. Goal information describes situations that are desirable. This allows the agent a way to choose among multiple possibilities, chasing, selecting the one which re reaches the goal state. So goal based agent further expands on the capabilities of model based agents by using goal information goal information describes situations that are desirable this allows the agent a way to choose among multiple possibilities selecting the one which reaches the goal state so they use sensors to preserve the current state and it's like how the world is like now they will use the, the information stored from the past history and they will say what happens if action A is done and the action A should be done in such a way to achieve the defined goals so it works on the defined goals in selecting the outcomes
Next is utility based agents. It is possible to define a measure of how desirable a particular state is. This measure can be obtained through the use of utility function which maps a state to a measure of utility of state. So goal based agents only distinguish between goal states and non goal states. It is possible to define a measure of how desirable a particular state is. This measure can be ob obtained through the use of utility function. So it 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 is decided that the action A is to be done and now again a measure is put on how happy yeah, am I doing by doing the action A so that is the utility which measures how happy the outcome A can be so based on the utility or the measure the outcome is decided in the utility based agents so that are the different types of agents in artificial intelligence systems. So how is the artificial intelligent environments? So artificial intelligent environments can be complex and they can be artificial. Some program operate in the entirely artificial environment confined to keyboard input database computer system and character. So there is nothing more than a computer which is worked on by a keyboard input and which has its possible outcomes stored in the database and all the programs and the software stored in the database so a simple computer system can be example of an artificial environment and some examples of complex environment is software agents or software robots or boats which work in rich unlimited soft boats domain the simulator is has a very complex environment so that's all about artificial agents and environments. If you like this video, please do subscribe for more videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Also, watch other videos in the series to know more about artificial intelligence.